the third episode of CMA Part 1 Question Bank Wiley. 01 Financial Statement In the next episode, questions A2, Recognition, Measurement, Valuation, and Disclosure. Please follow the channel to receive all questions and support us. Let's start. Question 46. Which of the following is true of an income statement presented as per U.S. GAAP? A. It reconciles beginning and ending balances of stockholders' equity. B. Bank overdrafts are always included as a component of selling, general, and administrative expenses. C. Financial measures of contractual agreements such as pension obligations, lease contracts, and stock option plans are required to be disclosed on income statement as a separate line item. D. Disclosure of extraordinary items reported on an income statement is restricted to items that are both unusual and infrequent. The answer is D. Disclosure of extraordinary items reported on an income statement is restricted to items that are both unusual and infrequent. Material items that are both unusual in nature and infrequent in occurrence require a separate section in the income statement, shown net of tax. Question 47. The following information is extracted from the latest financial information of Heinz Materials Incorporated. Tax rate 30%. Net income $15,000. Cash flow from operations $45,000. Additional information. 1. The tax rate for the coming year is expected to increase by 2%. 2. The company is planning to purchase equipment worth $500,000 in the first quarter of next year. 3. A 15% increase in capacity is expected with the use of new equipment. Considering the given factors, which of the following would be an ideal strategy to decrease the tax liability for the next year? A. Defer the purchase of equipment to next year to take advantage of A. Tax loss carry forward. B. Depreciate the asset using the double declining balance method to show higher cash flows from operations in initial years. C. Prepare the cash flow statement using the direct method to show lower cash from operations and lower net income. D. Defer the purchase of equipment to next year if a deferred tax liability can be reasonably estimated. The answer is. B. Depreciate the asset using the double declining balance method to show higher cash flows from operations in initial years. Depreciating the equipment using double declining balance method will result in higher depreciation in the initial years and lower net income. Therefore, the net tax liability of the company will decrease. Question 48. The Small Town Technology Corporation has prepared the following information. Calculate the cash flow from operating activities in current year. A. $1,250. B. $1,880. C. $1,190. D. $1,550. The answer is, D. $1,550. Cash flow from operations can be determined by the indirect method, the reconciliation of net income to cash flow from operations. Cash flow from operations. Using the indirect method is calculated as cash flow from operations, indirect method, equals net income plus non-cash debits in income statement minus non-cash credits in income statement plus increases in current liabilities, except dividends payable, plus decreases in current assets, except cash and cash equivalents, minus decreases in current liabilities, except dividends payable, minus increases in current assets, except cash and cash equivalents. Therefore, small towns cash flow from operations can be calculated as cash flow from operations, indirect method, equals $730 net income plus $1,150 depreciation plus $100 increase in accounts payable minus $30 decrease in accrued liabilities minus $200 increase in accounts receivable minus $200 increase in inventory equals $1,550. Question 49. According to U.S. GAAP, which of the following statements is true of comprehensive income? A. Firms should report comprehensive income as a separate line item after net income in the income statement. B. Any realized or unrealized gain on an asset should be included as part of comprehensive income, whereas realized or unrealized losses should be excluded from comprehensive income. C. Firms have the option of presenting the calculation of comprehensive income either as part of an income statement or as a separate statement of comprehensive income. D. Comprehensive income can be presented as a part of the statement of shareholders' equity. He answer is. 
seed firms have the option of presenting the calculation of comprehensive income either as part of an income statement or as a separate statement of comprehensive income. Comprehensive income can no longer be presented as a part of the statement of shareholders' equity. Firms have the option of presenting the calculation of comprehensive income either as part of an income statement or as a separate statement of comprehensive income. Question 50. How does the balance sheet help users? A. It depicts the true value of an entity. B. It measures the non-financial performance of an entity. C. It shows the financial performance of an entity for a specific period. D. It assesses an entity's liquidity, solvency, financial flexibility, and operating capability. The answer is. D. It assesses an entity's liquidity, solvency, financial flexibility, and operating capability. The balance sheet assesses an entity's liquidity, solvency, financial flexibility, and operating capability. Question 51. Selected financial information for Christina Company for the year just ended is shown below. Christina's cash flow from financing activities for the year is a dollar eighty thousand, b three million five hundred and twenty thousand dollars, c eight hundred thousand dollars, d seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars. The answer is d seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars. The answer is calculated as the cash receivable from the issue of common stock plus cash paid for dividends or eight hundred thousand dollars plus eighty thousand equals seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Financing activities include long-term debt and equity cash transactions. The cash acquisition of land and the cash sale of available for sale. Securities are investing transactions. Question 52. The financial statement that provides a summary of the firm's operations for a period of time is the source, retired ICMA CMA exam questions. A. Statement of financial position. B. Statement of retained earnings. C. Statement of shareholders' equity. D. Income statement. The answer is. D. Income statement. The financial statement that provides a summary of the firm's operations for a period of time is the income statement. It shows revenues, expenses, gains, losses, and taxes for the period. Question 53. The most commonly used method for calculating and reporting a company's net cash flow from operating activities on its statement of cash flows is the. A. Direct method. B. Single step method. C. Multiple step method. D. Indirect method. The answer is. D. Indirect method. The most commonly used method for calculating and reporting a company's net cash flow from operating activities on its statement of cash flows is the indirect method. The direct method is rarely used because when it is used, the indirect method must be disclosed. However, use of the indirect method does not require disclosure of the direct method. Question 54. McCarthy Corporation is issuing its first financial statements. The CFO of the company is of the view that all assets shall be recorded at historical cost throughout the life of the organization. Which of the following is the best critique of such a disclosure? A. Historical value assumes that the value of an asset is the amount that would have to be paid to replace the asset on the balance sheet date. B. Historical value takes into account the effects of inflation on the asset, therefore, the value fluctuates in each period. C. Historical value does not take into account the effect of depreciation, therefore, the true value of the asset cannot be determined. D. Historical value is less relevant for assessing a company's current financial position. The answer is. D. Historical value is less relevant for assessing a company's current financial position. Most asset accounts of a non-financial nature are reported at historical cost. While historical cost measures are considered reliable because the amounts can be verified, they are also considered less relevant than fair value or current market value measures would be for assessing a firm's current financial position. Question 55. The current ratio for Garrett Incorporated for the previous five years is as follows. Current ratio 5 year 1, 4.5 year 2, 4.9 year 3, 1.2 year 4, 4.2 year 5. Which of the following factors is the most likely reason for the low current ratio in year 4? A. Materials were purchased on credit in year 4 for which payment is due. B. Long-term debts were due for repayment in year 4. C. The company reduced its credit period in year 4. D. Working capital in year 4 decreased due to an increase in accounts payable. The answer is. B. Long-term debts were due for repayment in year 4. The current portion of long-term debt is included in current liabilities in the year of repayment. 
hence, the principal amount for long-term debts might have been due in year 4 and classified as current liabilities. Question 56. The financial statements included in the annual report to the shareholders are least useful to which one of the following? A. Competing businesses. B. Stockbrokers. C. Managers in charge of operating activities. D. Bankers preparing to lend money. The answer is. C. Managers in charge of operating activities. Generally, the financial statements included in the annual report to the shareholders are most useful to external stakeholders such as stockbrokers, bankers preparing to lend money, and competing businesses. Therefore, these reports are least useful to managers in charge of operating activities. Question 57. Atwater Company has recorded the following payments for the current period. The amount to be shown in the Investing Activities section of Atwater's cash flow statement should be a. $500,000 b. $900,000 c. $300,000 d. $700,000 The answer is c. $300,000 Purchasing another company's stock would be classified as an investing activity. The other two transactions are financing transactions. Question 58. During the year, Delta H Incorporated acquired a long-term productive asset for $5,000 and also borrowed $10,000 from a local bank. These transactions should be reported on Delta H's statement of cash flows as Source, Retired ICMA CMA Exam Questions A. Outflows for financing activities, $5,000, inflows from investing activities, $10,000. B. Inflows from investing activities, $10,000. Outflows for financing activities, $5,000. C. Outflows for operating activities, $5,000. Inflows from financing activities, $10,000. D. Outflows for investing activities, $5,000. Inflows from financial activities, $10,000. The answer is D. Outflows for investing activities, $5,000. Inflows from financial activities, $10,000. Purchasing a long-term assets would be classified as an outflows for investing activities. Borrowing money would be classified as a inflow from financial activities. Question 59. The financial accountant of Eva Wolf Corporation has ascertained the cash flows from operations as follows. The management accountant of the company argues that the cash flow from operations should be $8,500. Which of the following statements, if true, will undermine the management accountant's calculation? A. The company operates in a tax-free environment. B. Dividend income and interest income, already included in net income, are considered cash flow from operating activities. C. Cash flow from operations is ascertained using the direct method. D. Depreciation on equipment should not be added back to net income for calculating cash flow from operations. The answer is. B. Dividend income and interest income, already included in net income, are considered cash flow from operating activities. Investing cash inflows result from sales of property, plant, and equipment, sales of investments in another entity's debt or equity securities, or collections of the principal on loans to another entity. However, dividend income and interest income are included in cash flow from operating activities. Hence, the management accountant might have incorrectly calculated the cash flow from operations as follows. $15,000 plus $2,500 minus $8,000 minus $6,500 minus $2,500 plus $5,000 equals $8,500. Question 60. The following information is available for Matthews Holdings Incorporated. Calculate the income from continuing operations. A. $22,500. B. $17,100. C. $17,600. D. $23,000. The answer is. A. $22,500. Income from continuing operations is calculated as. Question 61. Silver Streak Enterprises, SSE, began manufacturing latex-based paint in 1978. In 2008, the company developed a new high-quality paint which maintains its luster for over 50 years. Due to the success of this new product, sales of the original latex-based paint have declined significantly such that the company has decided to phase out the product in early 2009. Michaela Andrews is the accounting manager and her primary responsibilities include the preparation and analysis of the annual financial statements. 
Michaela has begun analyzing the annual financial transactions and wants to ensure that the operations are presented accurately for the fiscal year ending December 31, 2009. The following transactions have raised questions for Michaela. 1. SSE invented its new high-quality paint in 2008 and received a patent in the same year. In 2008, the company expected that the new patent would have a useful life of 10 years, however, due to innovations by its competitors, SSE has determined that the useful life of the patent will be reduced to 6 years beginning in 2009. 2. The year-end physical count of inventory has found $24,000 of the obsolete latex-based paint product which must be written off as obsolete. 3. SSC is a defendant in a lawsuit concerning the durability of its old paint product line. Corporate lawyers believe that the lawsuit against Silver Streak will probably result in a settlement of $50,000 in mid-2010. 4. Silver Streak is also a plaintiff in a lawsuit against a competitor for stealing the manufacturing process of their new product line. Corporate lawyers believe that the lawsuit could likely result in a favorable judgment in the amount of $150,000 in 2010. Explain how each of the four transactions above will affect Silver Streak's income statement. A. Transaction 1 would decrease operating income. Transaction 2 would be classified as an other expense and would decrease income before taxes. Transaction 3 is a loss contingency that can be reasonably estimated and would appear on the income statement. Transaction 4 is a gain contingency that can be reasonably estimated and would be recorded on the income statement. B. Transaction 1 would decrease operating income. Transaction 2 would be classified as a cost of goods sold and would decrease operating income. Transaction 3 is a loss contingency that can be reasonably estimated and would appear on the income statement. Transaction 4 is a contingency that may result in a gain and would be recorded in the financial statements. C. Transaction 1 would decrease operating income. Transaction 2 would be classified as an other expense and would decrease income before taxes. Transaction 3 is a loss contingency that may result in a settlement and should appear in the notes but not in the financial statements. Transaction 4 is a contingency that may result in a gain but will not be recorded in the financial statements. D. Transaction 1 would decrease operating income. Transaction 2 would classify as other expense and decrease income before taxes. Transaction 3 is a loss. Contingency that can be reasonably estimated and would appear on the income. Statement. Transaction 4 is a contingency that may result in a gain but would not be recorded in the financial statements. The answer is. D. Transaction 1 would decrease operating income. Transaction 2 would classify as other expense and decrease income before taxes. Transaction 3 is a loss. Contingency that can be reasonably estimated and would appear on the income. Statement. Transaction 4 is a contingency that may result in a gain but would not be recorded in the financial statements. Transaction 1, the change in useful life is a change in estimates that affects present and future periods only. There will be an increase in amortization that would be reported in operating expenses thus causing a decline in operating income. Change in amortizations will be reflected on current and future financial statements. Transaction 2, as there is obsolete inventory the category other expense is affected on the income statement. Transaction 3, this loss contingency is probable and can be reasonably estimated, and therefore should appear on the income statement as an other gain or loss. This loss contingency should also appear in the footnotes to the financial statements. Transaction 4, according to SFAS 5 accounting for contingencies, contingencies that may result in gains are usually not reflected in the financial statements. Therefore, since the financial impact would not be realizable until received, not including the potential gain from the lawsuit in the financial statements is the proper handling for this year. Question 62. At the end of the current fiscal year, XL Company reported net income of $40,000. In addition, the following information is available. Using the indirect method, what amount should be reported as cash flow from operating activities on XL statement of cash flows for the current fiscal year? A. $47,500. B. $49,500. C. $32,500. D. $34,500. The answer is. A. $47,500. The cash flow provided from operating activities is computed by taking the net income of $40,000, 
less the increase in accounts receivable of $3,000 and less the prepaid expenses increase of $1,500, plus the decrease inventories of $4,500, plus the increase in accounts payable of $7,500. In the next episode, questions A2, Recognition, Measurement, Valuation, and Disclosure. Please follow the channel to receive all questions and support us. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.